Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your weekly taroscope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So for those of you that were there for the website launch on YouTube and the live read, thank you so much for coming and being there. It was truly awesome to interact with so many of you. Uh, if you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. I would be eternally grateful for it. If you are already a continued subby, thank you so much for all of your support. It means the world. For those of you that would like to book a personal tarot reading with me, you can do so on my website which is in the description below. Sorry, I'm smiling from ear to ear like an idiot because it's so nice to finally be able to say my website. Um, you know, it's been a long time coming and I'm really chuffed that it's here. If you are booking a personal tarot reading with me, you have to book your own appointment on the self-scheduling app. Uh, on the website on the book appointment and then you head over to the readings and services page below which there is a PayPal button and also a link if you choose to use um, and that will be for your purchase so before we start I would like to bless both of these decks with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so your uh, direction your destiny card for the week overarching theme or overriding message and what you get this week is the world card you are becoming a master this week Sagittarius you are stepping into an understanding of self like never before but this is going to require you to make a transition so when you get the world card and when I say make a transition it's not like the transition of death where something is final and it ends and it's over the world card is about making the choice it's about saying right okay I know where I've been and I know that that chapter is done now I know that that part of my life that era of my life that relationship in my life is over and in order to truly ascend into my position of mastery, self-mastery, because this is ruled by Saturn, in order to truly pass the final test that allows me to become a master, I know I'm going to have to step forward. I know I'm going to... And it literally is. Like, the way that I'm seeing this is kind of like there's a line in the sand. And to most people, it's just a line in the sand. But for you, you know, once you cross that line, there is no going back. Something really big is shaping up for you guys this week. And it starts with that very first step towards whatever your perceived um, future may well be. So the direction card. Uh, this is how it shapes up what the context might be or what the way to achieve your destiny card is. And this week you get the page of wands. It looks like you're getting out of your comfort zone. And when I say getting out of your comfort zone, I mean you are literally stepping out of your com comfort zone. For a lot of you, this is about travel. There is a trip or a journey that you have been putting off for quite some time, Sagittarius. And I believe it's because you know that once this trip or this journey takes place, that will be the close of the chapter and you will be stepping up, you will be leveling up. Um, and in order to do so, you've got to make this journey for some of you it will be going down memory lane and as an example um i can give you this when i was i think i was about 22 or 23 um i remember going back to a place that i had some really awful memories attached to and I remember just walking back there and i remember standing there and looking at the building and saying you know what that me is done, this me is who I am now. I turned my back and I walked away. And it was just a really, you know, it wasn't a very long moment or anything like that, but I remember having the experience of saying, right, now that I've stared you down and I've looked you in the eye, I can let you go for good. And that was it, I turned my back and I walked away. And no matter how many times I find myself in that area, the, the energy of the experiences of that have never been able to phase me uh, since. You know, I can be in that, in that place and, and not even feel it anymore. But I know that I needed to make that step. So for some of you, it will be going down memory lane. You will need to go back somewhere and say, right, okay, I'm consciously detaching from this. For others of you, this is going to be about a trip or a journey towards something that is going to cement this new future for you. But that trip has to be made. Um, and I think deep down, you know it. 
you already know it you know Sagittarius is a sign that's uh, you know that's deeply attached to meaning finding meaning for things looking for meaning in things understanding the spiritual wisdom of things you know the higher um, philosophy of things and the symbology this it's like you already know that this journey is deeply symbolic for you and I think maybe that's why you've been putting it off this week we'll see you making that journey uh, and if not making that journey planning it out and maybe even putting down the money for the ticket you know it could be five minutes around the corner it could be five thousand miles across the world whatever this journey is you must make it in order to achieve what it is that you want to achieve sagittarius i wish you an abundance of love light peace prosperity and abundance itself let me know how it shapes up for you let me know what it is i'm really really intrigued take care